Now you may have noticed that I haven't been using my graphing calculator to check any of my standard form equations and that's because you can't type a standard form equation into your calculator because your calculators are completely limited to things in function format, meaning the y equals format. So what I have to do if I want to uh, graph a standard form equation on my calculator is to convert a standard form into slope intercept. Uh, you don't convert things into point slope, that's just weird. Just convert it to slope intercept. So if I have 6x minus 2y equals 12, and I want to convert that into like y equals or calculate her ready format, I have to get this um, and use my pose. So first off, in the y equals format, I don't want the x on the same side as the y. So I'm going to subtract off 6x from both sides and I get negative 2y, remember from equation solving that that negative stays there, and I get negative 6x plus 12, all right? And so then I just have one more step. I gotta divide by negative 2 and be very, very careful. Remember what I told you when you use the multiplication or division properties of equality, or actually the addition and subtraction for that matter, you're treating the entire side with that operation. So if I divide this by 2, I have to divide, or negative 2, I have to divide that by negative 2 and that by negative 2. And it's best to do the division piecewise, meaning uh, divide the x term and divide the constant term, not all over negative 2, because that's just not pleasant. So those cancel, and I get y equals 3x minus 6. And so I've converted that into a format that I can uh, graph on my calculator. Now, um, it's always the exact same two steps. That's the good thing about standard form into slope intercept, is you always have to get rid of the x term and then divide by the coefficient of the y term. And because it's always the exact same two steps, we can do uh, a formula we can actually change standard form into slope intercept uh, with a formula going with and using ax plus by equals c and then transforming this to y equals. Remember I said uh, it's always the same two steps. You subtract off the x term. So you get by equals negative ax plus c and then you divide by b and so then you get y equals negative a over bx plus c over b. And this is now slope intercept. And so this tells us a couple of things about standard form. First, it tells us that the slope of the line is the same thing as the opposite of A over B, and that the y-intercept of the line, it has a y-coordinate of C over B. Um, now, there's no point in actually memorizing this formula because the two steps you have to perform are quite easy. It's just subtract off the AX, and divide by the b. And since standard form always gives these in integers, it's really no work at all to figure out what a slope of a line is if I give it to you in standard form, just like convert it. If you have the extra brain space to memorize this formula, feel free. But I, I you know, I don't. I just, you know, convert it really quick. It's just a quick two steps. And finally, for standard form, we're going to look at the only reason why you're going to like standard form at all at this point. Uh, you're going to like them later on when we do systems of equations, but uh, right now, um, here's the only thing you're going to like, and this is graphing. So it is super easy to graph an equation in uh, standard form. Um, because we're, I'm not going to convert a thing. I'm not going to like convert it to slope-intercept. I'm going to find some points because I know that I need two points to find the equation of a line. And the two points I'm going to happen to use are going to be the x-intercept and the y-intercept um, because we call these easy points um, because they're easy to find. The x-intercept is where y equals 0 and the y-intercept is where x equals 0. And so to find my points, in order to find my x-intercept, I'm going to substitute in a 0 for the y. So I get 3x 
plus 4 times 0 equals negative 12, which means I have 3x equals negative 12, or x equals negative 4. I have found my first point on my line, x equals negative 4. And so now I'm going to find the y-intercept using the exact same concept. I'm going to say 3 times 0 in this case, plus 4 times y equals negative 12. So 4y equals negative 12, or y equals negative 3. So now I have my two points uh, to graph. Now, when I graph these, I actually don't even do that much work. Here's what I do. I use the, I'm going to use my thumb method. So if I want to find the x-intercept, what I do is I cover up y, and I ignore it completely, and I say I have the equation uh, 3x equals negative 12, so x equals negative 4. And then when I want to find the y-intercept, I cover up the x, and just the x, not the sign in front of the y, be careful. Uh, and then I look, hmm, 4y equals negative 12, what does y equal? Uh, negative 3. Um, and so then I have my two points. So like writing this work down was just to show you mathematically why. In practice, I just like cover stuff up and then I figure out what it is. Now, even if it's a fraction, like I don't care. I'm just, I'm just going to find out what those x and y intercepts are because here's the, uh, here's the real beauty of graphing things in standard form. If you remember, when we did high quality graphing, um, I made you, uh, you know, you had to have the little bells and whistles like the arrowheads and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I made you find, uh, you know, to use the uh, good scales, uh, and then you had to label your scale, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where y is negative 3, and I'm just, you know, technically what you can do, you can just arbitrarily pick some point on here and label it negative 3, and then it labels your scale for you at the same time. And then I'm going to find where x is negative 4. And I'm going to put a dot there. And I'm going to connect them. And then I have the equation of my line. And if I were using pencil, I'd like erase some axes a bit to make sure my origin was correctly placed. But that's it. That's the graph of my line. Just got to find the two points and then plot them on there and be done with it.